Hey everyone, it is Sam's Club grocery haul day and as a family of six, I'm starting to learn more and more now that we have a Sam's Club membership again that I'm doing a lot more weekly grocery shopping because I don't do hauls on weeks where we're doing uh, travel videos and we just had a week of travel videos so I didn't do one last week but and a lot of it was just like restock stuff. But this week I'm doing another one and I ended up just, it was cheaper to just go to Sam's to get some of the stuff that we wanted and that we needed for meals for this week. So you may start seeing them more regularly than just the uh, twice a month that you've been seeing. But let me turn around and show you what we picked up from Sam's for just a couple of meals here and there for family of six for one week. I'm going to specify that some of these things have already been open. One of the things that we had switched to was every time we go to Sam's, we pick up the uh, $5 a dozen really massive croissants. Also, we have upgraded our memberships where we can get in between 8 to 10 a.m. for the early membership access and the money that we save back on it by the end of the year will cover the cost of the extra cost it was for the membership versus just the traditional. So for us, it's totally worth it. But like I said, we got went in early. So one of the things we switched to doing is basically just picking up stuff to make lunch. So one of our favorite things to do is like pick up lunch stuff. But I'll show you that in a minute. Let's start over here. So this bag of Cape Cod chips is open and six of us ate lunch off of this today and there's still half a bag. And this whole bag is $5. These are so good. They're less greasy, which makes them perfect for travel days, shopping days like today, and for the kids to be able to just like eat them on a napkin and eat them in the car as we're traveling. So I may start looking at these for like travel chips as well. I don't, we don't, you know, you've seen our videos for a while. We don't do a lot of chips, but when we do want to do chips, something like this is a good option, especially like I said, it's not as greasy and it's a little bit of a healthier chip than some of the others, speaking of which. So these are the chips that I had been sending for Matt for work. This is a different variety box though. What I like about this is that they're starting to do some variety boxes with some of like the spicier flavors and Matt likes some of the spicier foods. So this one has eight chili cheese, eight of the uh, spicy sweet chili Doritos, four of the cheddar jalapeno Cheetos, the flaming hot Cheetos, and he doesn't like puff Cheetos. He likes the crunchy ones. So this worked out really well because I had to almost kind of pick through. We wanted to get another one with Funyuns, but the only one I saw with Funyuns that he would have liked the other flavors with had the puffy Cheetos. So we opted for these instead. It has the cheddar and sour cream ruffles, which is one of his favorite flavors of chips. And it also has the spicy nacho. So I'm hoping like a little bit of spicy with some of the other, you know, the two not as spicy tone chips would be a nice variety for him for work. And then like sometimes if he comes home and like we're at ASL class or something and like it's just him by himself here and he doesn't like make a meal or anything, he can also snack on these as well. And I'm also looking at these for like if we end up doing like a week long travel or anything, I would prefer to have some, I, like I wouldn't mind getting this and dividing it up for like meals that we're all eating together. But for travel meals, like travel, like road trip meals, these would be a good variety. So we'll see. Um, I will also say like this 50 count box, these bags are the same size as the other bags. But this 50 count box is the same as a 30 count box of the non-spicy ones. So I was really glad to be able to find the, like the price difference in those. We have liked these Nada Chick-fil-A chicken bites so much we love them last week i ended up using it as a replacement meal because i just had a long day and didn't feel like cooking so we had a day where we did these instead of the meal that we had had planned for that day so i was like you know what i might as well go ahead and buy one for this week because i know we're going to have one day where we're going to need to make a quick meal for dinner so go ahead and buy another one for this week and then put another one back in the stock up freezer but also they sell the patties too. Like they sell chicken breast sandwich fillets. Let's play a game of things I didn't know today. Put that under the other box of chips in there. Breast, breaded chicken breast fillet sandwich. I have been told they were just the breaded chicken breast. I didn't read the fillet sandwich. I just thought that meant that it was sandwich patty. Oh no, 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 no. These are individually wrapped sandwiches. They're, they're, they're sandwiches. They're individual sandwiches. That is so convenient. It's Heating instructions, microwave, remove sandwich from packaging, remove chicken from bun and place microwave safe, Chicken microwave the chicken on high, wrap bun and paper towel and microwave separately. Yeah, they're sandwiches. Yeah. They're microwave safe sandwiches or we could probably still pop them in the air fryer. It's sandwiches. 
sandwich day. It's sandwich day. These are not cheap. These are like 13 to 15 each, um, somewhere in that price range. But the quality is there. And I don't like buying chicken stuff where you like you're picking out those pieces. And if you know if you've bought chicken pieces like that, but you know what I mean. So I like that the quality is there. They air fry super quick. And it's something that we all like. So I'm fine paying it for like the nicer quality and then just saving money on the sides instead. Instead of doing the Chloe's, we opted to do these because as it's warming up, they like doing the fruitier pops anyways. And these are guaranteed to not have dairy in them, um, at least because the list says they don't have dairy in them. It has strawberry, pineapple, grape, and tangerine. So these are going to be the replacement this week for the uh, Chloe lactose-free ice cream bars and their dessert for this time. I have been paying close to $5 for like a two-pound container of potato salad at Walmart. This is a five pound container for $5.97. When you have six people, this will be gone in two meals. I was really happy to find something of price equivalent. And so far I have liked the Members Mart brand, so we'll try it and see if it works. And I'm also planning on having this within the next 48, 72 hours, so I'm not worried about it going bad either. These Caesar salad kits, they, okay. So they actually, to me, look smaller than what they actually are so for our family last time we almost didn't even need the second bag we ended up using what was left of the second bag to make salad for matt and i think myself or one of the other kids for a meal the next day um so two bags is almost overkill but it's about the same price as we were paying at aldi's for per bag for three bags so we're taking one bag off same price more salad this one is more of a splurge. It's a lot of it's a little bit more than what I would have wanted to pay, but the Sam's Club for, uh, produce has been better quality than our Aldi's produce has here lately, and it's the cotton candy grapes, you guys. It's that time of year, so I went ahead and bought the cotton candy grapes. There's three pounds of cotton candy grapes inside of here, and this was about nine dollars for this. This one, our Aldi's has not had Alfredo sauce in months. And they actually had Bertoli Alfredo sauce, which if I buy canned, other than the Aldi's brand, this is the one I prefer because the quality is great and it doesn't taste like really yucky. I don't know how another way to explain it, but it was $5 for three jars. And normally Bartoli at our local store is two to three dollars per jar. So to find it in a bulk pack and to finally find some canned Alfredo sauce. So I'm allergic to tomato products, um, most tomato products. I can sometimes have pizzas the ones I'll show you on the Walmart haul the day after this one, I can have those and they seem to not bother me. But like, I don't, if we have like stuff that pe normal, normal people would dip marinara in, I can't do that. So we, I have switched to using Alfredo for it and also I like having Alfredo for pasta. So that's why I like having the cans on hand and I probably would have bought two to three anyways to have. Uh, the Ballpark Beef Franks is probably overkill for a family of six, but I bought 24. I figure this will last three-ish meals over the weekend, make them once, and then people can just reheat as they go through the weekend. The um, Members Mark Sharp Cheddar Cheese is the first time we've tried it, but I was buying three packs at a time from Aldi's to get like 33 slices to get through one meal of grilled cheese and maybe have leftovers for the next day. So if you figure it's like $2 a pack for 11 slices at all these, that was, you know, four packs to get 44. This is a 42 pack, and it was a dollar cheaper to buy this than to have bought all those packs. And all those packs were like large amounts of plastic, like more so than even this is. So that also made me happy as well. And also, we already opened it and tried it to go with the croissants for lunch. Speaking of other things, this is the only thing that I found, honestly, if I am correct, in all these sells their uh, deli meat, yeah, their sliced deli meat like this in one pound packs. The member's mark is $2 more, but I was already there. Everybody was hungry. It was fine. I just wanted to get it and go, and I'm still not even 100% sure that the ones from Aldi's are one-pound packs. And like I said, these massive croissants, they're always a wonderful quality. You get a dozen for $5, and it's a steal, especially considered like sometimes at Walmart, they're almost a dollar per croissant to get the ones this size. While I was there, I went ahead and picked up another bag. I'll show you a spoiler for uh, tomorrow's video, but we're doing Walmart and Aldi haul tomorrow, rotating things around around vacation videos, but or around travel videos. But I had one of these from Aldi's. It's great. It actually has orange juice in there right now. 
I wanted another one because I run out of room and when I'm at Sam's, you know, they don't have bags. So I had those two bags, no, those two bags were in my uh, tote bag in the truck. That box and that box were in this bag and I probably still could have fit more on there. Plus there's these pockets as well. You can have a handbag to hold it or you can ha uh, have shoulder straps. These were somewhere between eight to ten dollars a bag but it was really nice and like I said the fact that I could like pull these out and they still feel like they just came out of the freezer section is really great. Go Go Squeeze. You know that we're a huge fan of using Go Go Squeeze for travel or a quick breakfast on the go. Normally at our Sam's they've only had just the Apple Apple. This time they had the variety box that has eight each which I also like the ones that don't have like oh yeah, there's only one four of one flavor when there's a family of six. So <laughs> that always makes things complicated. But there's eight apple strawberry, eight gimme five, eight apple cinnamon which I really like that one and I know one of the kids really really likes that one and eight apple apple. So again, look, it was a little bit cheaper to get it at Sam's and to be able to just grab one box and go made it so much easier. This is one of the things that I'm still not 100% sure if it actually was cheaper to get at Sam's or not, but I wanted to go ahead and just try it and then price compare it later to Walmart, what we're normally paying. But this is body wash for the three girls and they're fine with me showing it. I'm pretty sure they would have said something if I if it wasn't okay. Body wash, I don't think it's one of the things that they would care if I share. Um, this has, I'm trying to find this since this one is orchid and black currant, uh, white strawberry and mint and birch water and lavender. These were 15, which makes it at $5 a bottle. I compared the ones that I was buying for them at Walmart and the ones I was buying for them at Walmart were $4 a bottle. I haven't compared the ounces to see which one has more ounces. It's one of those things we're just gonna have to figure it out as we go. And last but not least, I went ahead and picked up another sparkling ice for Matt. This is the variety pack with the black raspberry classic lemonade, the grape raspberry, and the cherry limeade. The grape raspberry is extremely difficult to find an individual. You usually can only get it in like this light blue pack. Um, I may rotate and get another flavor the next time because the black raspberry is okay. The lemonade is really eh, but these two are really the flavors that I go for, and there's only four in a pack. But that's why I did pick out specifically that pack, though. Found two more things from Sam's Club. There is a pack of Sara Lee white hot dog buns. They're, of course, to go with the hot dogs that we already purchased. And this is not the first one we have bought. It's not even the second one we bought. We have bought several of these. It's just I really wanted this lavender color, and it was the first time they've had them back in stock in large. So Members Mark is a size smaller than the Walmart ones. Cause like Walmart time and true, I've been having to wear like extra larges, the no boundaries ones, I've had to wear extra larges. The uh, members mark ones I have found to me fit smaller. And like I have one that wears like smalls in Walmart and I bought her a small of this and it is really baggy on her. But yeah, they have like pastel purples right now, pastel yellows. If you like V-neck, they do have V-neck. I prefer crew neck, especially like when I wear a backpack and I wear a backpack almost all the time, traveling or not. Um, so I prefer having the uh, crew neck ones, but they are so super soft and I absolutely love them. So I was so glad that they restocked the, uh, I was afraid they were just gonna like finish selling them out and then they weren't gonna restock them again, but they did have the larges in the pastel lavender again. So that is it for our possibly starting to become weekly Sam's Club haul. And like I was showing you, so there's things that I buy every week that ends up being like, okay, this week the kids were out of the body washes, so I just bought a bulk one. But that means I probably won't have to buy body washes for a couple of weeks, hopefully more than that. But like, that's something that was a sock up. The sparkling ice, there's 24 in there. He takes them for work, so that's a month. So I won't have to buy another one for a month but they're cheaper to get them that way than it is any other way. And then I don't have to worry about it. Like if I just had time to just go to all these next week, I would be stocked up on some other things. So I'm starting to kind of figure it out, you know, test and see how things do. That's the first time I've had to buy chips in a couple months, so, or the individual ones. But that is it for today's video. Thank you to all of our members for helping to support this content to allow us to continue making the videos. Thank you to all of you for watching and supporting me with your positive comments and subscribing, and we will see you next time. Thank you.